We tell filmmakers and we tell comedians, like, the second you have that creative idea, you ha your marketing has begun. You are starting the journey. And if, it, if you choose to go to Kickstarter and you choose to raise a little bit of money there, you're starting, you're beginning to tell the story. And if it's not, if your Kickstarter doesn't get funded, obviously, you've tested a very cheap, low-risk exactly. way. You've tested the idea. I mean, I think creatives have to start thinking a little more like startups in that way, yeah. rapidly test business models, fail fast. Uh, yep. fail fast, and then move on, try something else. I look at, gosh, I think of the ultimate example is like the Fine Brothers on YouTube. Uh, these guys would continue, everyone else was out there making these, or there was a lot of people making web series, or they were stuck on one format, and the Fine Brothers tried everything. And then they had this one hit. I mean, they had a bunch of hits, but they were independent, and they finally had kids react. Yeah. Remember when they had Kids React, it all changed for they them. They spun it off. Oh, Elders God. React, you know, YouTubers React, they spun it off and, and found that successful action. And I think you're right, it's that startup mentality of, you know, they're not buying this, okay, they're not buying this, okay, fail fast, and then we found this, this works, they like this, okay, can we try this in cherry flavor or strawberry flavor, you know? How can we iterate on this to spin it off and, and you know, give them something they like in various flavors, right? Yeah, don't yeah, don't like pent up your art and hold yeah. it sacred. It's it's yeah. those who let it out and let people come into it that I think are going to succeed. Uh, yeah. And that's why indie film. I believe indie film is flourishing. Yeah, uh, it's just I think Freddie Wong is an independent filmmaker. That's, that's and on that point.